Okay, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Welcome back to Serum Beginners Course. And let's take a look at oscillators A and oscillators B. Oscillator A, and this is oscillator B. Now, important thing to note here is if you're not using both oscillators, it's not required that you do, of course. And it even tells you that um, you can turn one off to save CPU. So we're going to turn off oscillator B, and we're just going to focus on A, and because they are identical. So one, everything you learn in A applies to B. It's just whether you have it turned on or not. So currently, it's at its default setting here, and that is this little wave deal here. And if you click down in the open area here you can see a 3D view of the wave. Now, you're not seeing any change there because the menu here is in its default setting. So if we click here where it says default, we can select a wave shape or a wave table to apply to this oscillator. I'm going to go with basic shapes. It's going to give us a little sine wave here. Now if we click on the 3D view out here in the open, you're going to see all the different waveforms available, to, wave shapes available to us. And we can browse through those or stroll through those with the uh, wavetable position dial right here. And you can see the ones turning yellow is the position we're in. So, and it does change the sound. Let me sample that for you. So, as we go through there, you hear the sound change for each shape. And you can also scroll through the uh, wave types, wave basic shapes here with the uh, right and left arrows, similar to what we were able to do with the presets up here. So you can go right, left, right, left. Let me go back to the basic. Next, you have your octave button, so you can go up or down several octaves if you like. You have your semitone control right here. You have your fine control here. your course. So something cool to point out about the semitone is you can actually manipulate this to, to work sort of like a step sequencer since uh, Serum actually doesn't have a step sequencer built in but what you can do is you can take an LFO, drag it over and let go of it right here and now let me slow this guy down a little bit. You hear that little step kind of sound there? So depending on how you manipulate that, you can actually work it as a step, a step sequencer. So let me take that off. And let's see where we're at. Okay, Unison. So Unison is going to create uh, multiple voices for us. And the Unison in Serum is one of the best there is available. I mean, it's just hands down one of the best Unison engines I've ever listened to. So um, as we go up and down, you can hear the difference. You know, you're not hearing a whole lot because we really haven't detuned anything. So that's the next knob right here is detune. And the thing about detune is you can see the distance as I open it up 
how far the detuning is taking place between the individual voices. All the lines you see here are the individual voices and they're all exactly the amount of lines that we've selected on the unison dial. So further apart, closer together. Now the next one over blend is referring to how loud each voice is. The voice, the line in the center is the main voice and the others, you can blend those in and out. And that's a really cool feature. Anytime you want to get a dial back to um, to its setting, you just command click it and it jumps right back to its default setting. Phase really we aren't going to hear a lot on phase because we only have one oscillator on. So let's turn on oscillator B and also to, to make sure these are identical. Let's copy A to B in the menu that we noticed earlier. So copy oscillator A to B. Now we have both oscillators identical. So now when I do phase, and I move this guy a little bit, I move this guy a little bit, you start to hear a little bit of a different sound there. And you can see What's good about Serum is it's very visual synth to use, so it's always going to show you exactly where you are visually, kind of what's happening to the audio. And random is going to randomly reposition the phase amount for you instead of you doing it manually. It's just going to depending on how far you have it open, it's going to randomly phase back and forth for you. Let me turn this guy back off. We don't need it anymore. Now we've already gone over the wavetable position knob. That was our ability to scroll through the different shapes. And this guy right here is our warp. And it's going to allow us to warp our shapes and it's off right now but if we click in the off area we've got a pretty big menu of choices to warp from bend plus bend minus uh, remap mirror flip you know sync uh, fm all that good stuff so that's our little warp deal there and we can actually browse through different stuff right here leave it in the off position and then of course we've got our pan left and right pretty self-explanatory and then our level and just the individual output of the signal so that is a quick overview of oscillator A which again is identical in oscillator B A and B are identical all the controls are the same. And uh, let's move on to the next lesson.